on this channel we do a little bit of everything and today we are taking part in a collaboration hosted by Tony over at Kettle Kitchen. This is my second year in this collaboration. It is called Noodle November. Last year I made a sourdough um, noodle. This year Tony is requesting that all the dishes use a twisted noodle and there will be a live giveaway on December 3rd over on Tony's channel at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I am going to be making a dish, and I'm probably going to say this wrong, capitilla with sausage and meatball. So I've never made this, and I have used these noodles before. But let's get started. So we need to cook our noodles, and while we're cooking our noodles, we are going to make baby Italian meatballs. So let's head over to the stove. Okay. I had a little interruption there, so we are just going to make some little meatballs with the sausage. Okay, so that is what I'm going to make. So I'm going to let these cook, the water boil, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so while the meatballs and water is cooking, You'll need one medium onion cut up. And this is just one medium yellow onion. I should have went over the list of what you actually need for this recipe. So you need 14 ounces of stewed tomato. You need an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. I do not have an 8 ounce can, so I have a big can. You need some cut up tomatoes, dried oregano, salt, parmesan cheese, and one pound of hamburger. So we are... I know it's like that. So I guess we don't need fresh tomato. But I'm still going to add one. So. Doesn't hurt to always have good tomatoes. I wish these were garden fresh tomatoes though. They'd be much better. So I am just going to cut these. We're just gonna set those to the side. Let's go back over to the stove. Okay guys. So now the meatballs are done. We are going to take them out of the pan and then in my microwave, I know you can't see me and I'm sorry, um, I have a pound of hamburger that has defrosted and we need to cook it. So you very well could cook your sausage and your meatballs together. Oh gosh, let's see. So you very well could put some together, but I was trying to be fancy with the meatballs, which is what the recipe called for. So, if you don't have one of these nifty things, you need to get one. So we're going to break up the hamburger, and then we're going to add in some of our onions. Mix those in. We'll let those cook. Our water still hasn't came to a boil. And a wash pot never boils. So we're going to walk away while the hamburger cooks. We do need to salt and pepper the hamburger first though. So let's do that. Okay. 
So I'm just using pink Himalayan salt and fresh ground pepper. Okay. So we're gonna let that cook. We're gonna let this come to a boil and I'll bring you back. Okay, now that the water has come to a boil, we are going to add in, so I am doing a one pound package, but the recipe calls for eight ounces. I'm just gonna give that a good stir. Our hamburger's still cooking over here. Um, I did go ahead and open my tomatoes, sweet tomatoes, and my tomato paste for when the, everything is done. So my hamburger is done, so I'm going to add in my sweet tomatoes. And I'm going to use the whole can of my tomato sauce. And then I'm going to use oregano. And we're going to give that a good stir. And we're going to bring that back to a boil. And then when the noodles are done, we're going to add those in. Break up those big pieces of tomatoes in there. And I'm all about using one utensil because I hate doing dishes. Okay, we're gonna let that cook until the noodles are done. Okay, so the noodles are done. We're gonna strain them. We're going to pour them right in to our mixture of the pasta, the sauce, not the pasta. We're going to mix it all up. Ignore my microwave. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a second. I'm going to make some, uh, yeah, that's what it is, French bread. So I'll see you back over the counter. Okay, so now that it is done, we are going to dish up a bowl for Kevin and Kaiser, as they are the only other two that are home right now that will eat pasta. Kaiser. Kaiser. Yeah. So I just made you a dish. Do you want some fresh parmesan on it? Sure. Do you want some tomatoes and onions? No. Do you want some of the meatballs? Sure. Okay, and then will you try it for me and tell me what you think? Okay. Well, like I said, we have not had this recipe before, so this will be a first. It's a hack. It's hot. You like it? So it's a, it's good from Kaiser. Okay, Kevin, it's your turn. Thanks, bud. What am I doing? You're coming to be our taste tester. Oh, jeez. <sighs> so I already made you a bowl. Okay. Do you want Parmesan? Yes. 
Do you want Italian meatballs? Of course. You can help yourself with tomatoes or onions. So Kevin's adding the meatballs, the fresh tomatoes, and onions. You have corn. Yep. Oh, I was looking at twelve different cameras. Mm -hmm. All right. Now what is this? Have however you told me okay. this. Okay. Yeah. All right. Have a pay or something like that. Do you like it? Yeah, it's good. It tastes like a rich man's hamburger helper. Yeah? <laughs> that works. And like I said, I was making uh, garlic bread to go with it. So I will make my dish. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out the playlist over on Kettle Kitchen's channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. This is the cookbook that has the recipe in it. There's over 90 pasta dishes in this um, noodles cookbook. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Maybe you would like a copy of your own. I did pick this up at the thrift store, but I have found it to be a very useful noodle cookbook. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys.